In this video, I'm going to uh, do a demonstration of a circular orbit around a center point uh, using software in the loop simulation with PX4. And then in an upcoming video, we'll take the same code that we deploy and run it on the real hardware on the Dexy drone. And one of the things that I wanted to do differently is I've been using ChatGPT for the past year just to help with some programming tasks. And I've heard many people say that you can just uh, throw a problem at chat GPT, copy and paste some code, and then be able to run it. Uh, I have not found that to be the case, but in this scenario, it, it came pretty close and I want to walk you through it. So I have the Dexy ROS2 repo and we have a Dexy Pi package in here with a bunch of different services for the real drone where we can control LEDs, access GPIO, uh, as well as uh, read April tags with the camera. But we have this offboard node and I'm going to uh, create a new node or I guess ChatGPT will help me do that and it will hopefully perform a circular orbit. So I'm in my ChatGPT prompt said I would like a ROS2 node that I can use to send trajectory set points and fly my drone in a circular orbit with the nose of the drone facing the center of the circle. So it gives a bit of uh, overview here, talks about the trajectory uh, set point topic. I'll just, or message, I'll, I'll show that here. So we have uh, this PX4 message with position, velocity, acceleration, jerk, and then yaw. So, We'll most likely be using position and velocity as well as setting the yaw angle. There's some math here that talks about the circular motion logic and then the method or function here to point the drone towards the center of the circle. And then we'll get down to the ROS2 code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up a software in the loop simulation instance just copy this node in build it and we're going to give it a run okay i'm on this docker hub page i've covered this in a previous video but if you're doing any sort of px4 development definitely simulated development i encourage you to uh, take a look at this image i have a version for px4 1.15 so this is the image we're gonna download and launch a container based on, just makes a development significantly easier. So I have my command here. You'll see running on port 6080 on the host. And then I'm mapping my current directory, which is my Dexy workspace into the container. That will just allow me to use uh, VS code with the Dexy repo on the host giving it a name and then uh, this is the actual docker hub image dexy px4 siddle 1.15 so i'm going to go ahead and run that all right so we can see the containers running going to open up a new tab go to 6080 and the first thing that i'll do is just make sure that we have our siddle working so I'm going to make PX4 and then the GZX500 drone. Let's just make sure we get gazebo with our drone. All right, so that looks good. Very quick and easy to get a simulation up and running. I spent a lot of time over the past year to get this containerized. And um, I use it quite a bit. So I'm going to now run the micro DDS agent, UDP4, port 8888. We should see our topics get published. So let me go ahead and just do ROS2 topic list. Okay. So once again, this code. FMU trajectory set point. So FMU in trajectory set point here. So 
that is a topic we're going to be publishing to. I'm going to copy this code. Going to, in my Dexypy package, I created a file called circular trajectory. So I'm going to go ahead and just paste this back in again, straight out of chat GPT. Then I'm going to make sure that I add it to my setup.py. You can see here circular trajectory is one of the scripts that we'll be able to access. So I'm going to go back to my container here. I'm going to go into my Dexy workspace. So I'm going to build just this package so we don't have to build everything in the uh, Dexy workspace. So Colcon build, packages select, Dexy pi. Okay, so we need to do, let me go ahead and just skip to building Dexy interfaces. That's a dependency for some of the other nodes. And then I'll also need to build PX4 messages because uh, that's obviously important for us to be able to send these trajectory set points. So that'll go ahead and build and then we'll be on our way. My PX4 messages are built, took about a minute and a half. And then we'll go ahead and build DexyPy. Let me source the workspace and let's just see if we can I don't expect this node to run. I'll, ex I'll explain why. It should, should not fail, but uh, we'll do circular tra trajectory. Okay, so code is running. That's good. And if I go to the sim, obviously it's not going to be doing anything. The assumption that we make is that we're already in off-board mode before we can start sending those set points. So I'm going to run mo one more node. This is just a demo package that we have that allows us to, through a web browser, quickly initiate some set point commands, get up in the air, and then we'll be in off-board mode so we can run our test. Okay, let's go ahead and get in the air into off-board mode, and then we'll try our chat GPT node. I'll access the web interface. We'll go ahead and arm. Let me just see. Props for spinning. Let's take off. Okay, so our drone is now taking off as part of this code. It sets the drone into off board mode. We can just Double check that. Actually, I'm in the wrong terminal. Let me go over here. Commander status. Okay, we're in off board. Let's run our node from the great chat GPT and see what happens. All right, I'm going to initialize it now. Okay, it does not look. All right, we're bouncing around. So uh, test number one, copy and paste, did not work well. I'm going to go ahead and kill that. And let's take a look at our code. I've already been through this. I know exactly what's going on, but I'm going to explain. So in PX4, you may be familiar with that frame of reference, NED, north, east, and down, or altitude for a positive value or gaining altitude will be the opposite of down. So down is positive. We want to go up. We need to invert that to negative. So now we have a minus five meters that we'll be doing our orbit around. Let me go back to the terminal. I'm going to launch SIDLE, take off to three meters. All right, let's run this. Actually, let me build this because I made that change. I didn't symlink it. And we're going to do the circular trajectory now. We should gain altitude to 
minus five meters or roughly 15 feet above the ground. And here you can see with just one change to the node, we're now orbiting. So I'm going to go in here with just one last uh, demonstration. I'm going to kill this node, control C. Let's uh, tighten up this radius to let's say three meters and let's cut the speed of orbit. Once again, I think that's 30 degrees a second. So let's just go to 0 0.1, slow that down. I'll build the package again and let's run it and see if our changes have taken effect. So yeah, now you can see a much slower orbit with a tighter radius. We went from five meters down to three. So with a little bit of finagling, taking this chat GPT node, copy and pasting it in, building it, I had to make uh, this one change of the altitude from a positive five to a minus five and everything appears to be working nicely. So in summary, for a lot of my development, definitely standard development as well as PX4, there's many times where I'll just go over to ChatGPT, ask it a question, review the code, and it serves as a great starting place, but there are several other things, as you guys saw, we had to do. We needed to get into offboard mode. We needed to uh, get in the air and then we could initialize the trajectory set point. So I'm going to, in a future video, demonstrate this exact same code running on DEXC hardware. So we can see that I'll probably do that outdoors just to make that radius bigger. But then I'd also like to go through this and maybe see if it could write the entire node with all the steps of setting off board mode, taking off, and then beginning the orbit mission. So I wanted to share that. I've really enjoyed my current development workflow, making software in the loop simulation a lot easier with Docker in the web browser, and also uh, getting a little help from ChatGPT and developing uh, some of these nodes. So if you guys have any questions or comments, tips that you have found when you're doing development, love to hear them. And until next time, thanks for watching.